Landing it on the moon was essentially a rocket launch in reverse, something that had never been done before. And despite their best efforts, NASA simply couldn't simulate it properly on Earth. Although they nearly killed Neil Armstrong in their attempts. All right. As someone who was there when they first did it for real, I'm hoping Charlie Duke can tell me how they pulled it off. This is an area of typically smart Texan suburbia. Over there is a man who can probably help you with the tax return. Over there is someone who can sort your teeth out. But this is where Charlie Duke lives, and he can tell me how to land on the moon. I've got the morning news here, if you're interested, over. Charlie Jude. It is I. <laughs> James, <Fantastic>. come in. <laughs> nice to Thank see you. Thank you, and you. Talk about landing on the moon. Yeah, right. <laughs> May I? Sure. It's our little lunar module model. <laughs> What's amazing when you see it again is it is the shonkiest looking bit of flight hardware in history, isn't it? It just. It's uh, really it's strange. Yeah, when I first started, I said, this thing really going to fly? You know, it's, uh, it's strange looking, but it was a great flying machine. Of course, it would only operate in a vacuum. Uh, it wouldn't operate. It's too flimsy to try to put in an atmosphere somewhere. So it was a true spacecraft designed for uh, landing on the moon and uh, flying in, around the lunar orbit. And that was it. Obviously, it doesn't fly in the accepted aeronautical sense because right. there's no air, which mm -hmm. is why presumably it doesn't matter that it's this terrible shape. That's right. But how did, it, how did it actually handle? To me, it was like flying a helicopter. As the pilot, Charlie navigated the lunar module from the window on the right, while his commander, John Young, handled the controls over to his left. Why were the windows so small? That seems mean, considering you're about to look at the moon for the first time that close up. They really gave you good visibility. John, on his side, had a, a sort of a ladder etched on his window, and it was numbered like 30, 35, 40, 45, and I would say, John, LPD, 40. 41 LPD, 3,000 feet on profile. He would look through the 40, and where that, in, where his eyesight then, line of sight, hit the ground, that's where he's going to land if he doesn't do anything. Well, hang on, I just want to make sure I've understood that properly. The way of guiding the lunar module down onto the surface of the moon was with some lines drawn on the, on the window. Basically, yeah. Uh... 